hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of avg news only say the son of Nube is my name and um today i'm responding to some inquiries from people who after we posted a video yesterday that the united states of america had extended uh, its sanctions to certain people within the zimbabwean government then wrote to us to know more because they've been uh, contrasting reports they've been mixed uh, reports and views especially from the media and some social media commentators including the zimbabwean government uh, via one of the government spokespersons that is nick mangwana as to whether or not the sanctions against zimbabwe have been removed so after uh, yesterday that we sent a video or we posted a video on this very channel stating that in fact zitera is still in place uh, and what has happened is that there are some people who have been added onto the sanctions list many have been left wondering as to what exactly is the truth so this is what we want to talk about right now what has confused a number of people is the statement that was written by american president to the secretary of state that is by joe biden who is the american president to joe blinken who is the secretary of state uh, where the American president stated in part that there was a termination of the Zimbabwe sanctions program. Uh, now, people have been thinking that maybe the sanctions have been uh, removed. So the statement reads that uh, the president's EO of March 4, 2024, termination of emergency with respect to the situation in Zimbabwe, terminated the national emergency declared in EO 13288 and built upon in EO 13391 and EO 13469 and as a result all persons blocked solely pursuant to EO 13288, EO 13391 or EO uh, that is executive order, EO is executive order 13469 the authority of the Zimbabwe sanctions program will be removed today from the offer specially designated nationals and blocked persons SDN list. All property and interest in property blocked sol solely pursuant to the Zimbabwe sanctions program will be unblocked today and OFAC will remove the Zimbabwe sanctions regulations from the code of federal regulations. So now we need to read these past executive orders and I'm going to choose the one uh, that was written in 2008 and I'm going to because it's a follow-up to some of those that were written earlier that is the 2003 one so let me read through so that you can understand so the executive order 13469 of July 25 2008 which was written by the then American president George W Bush stated in section 1 that any person determined by the secretary of the treasury after consultation with the secretary of state to be a senior official of the zimbabwean government to be owned or controlled by directly or indirectly the government of zimbabwe or an official or officials of the government of zimbabwe to have engaged in actions or policies to undermine zimbabwe's democratic processes or institutions to be responsible for or to have participated in human rights abuses related to political repression in Zimbabwe to be engaged in or to have engaged in activities facilitating public corruption by senior officials of the government of Zimbabwe to be a spouse or dependent child of any person whose property and interest in property are blocked pursuant to executive order 13288 executive order 13391 or this order to have materially assisted, sponsored, or provided financial, material, logistical, or technical support for, or goods or services in support of the government of Zimbabwe, any official thereof, or any person whose property and interests in property are blocked pursuant to Executive Order 13288, Executive Order 13391, or this order, or to be owned or controlled by or to have acted or purported to act for or on behalf of directly or indirectly any person whose property and interest 
in property are blocked pursuant to executive order 13288, executive order 13391, or this order uh, are prohibited by this United States government. And this means not only individuals, but it also means entities that are deemed to be uh, working in collaboration with the said individuals. So this order was prohibiting uh, such people from accessing any form of business deals or any assistance from the United States government. So there was a list of people that were included in this executive order as such individuals and whose property and bank accounts in the United States and friendly countries to the United States were blocked. So this is what the executive order speaks to. So there were people, some of them who have died, others who have left ZANU PF but were still alive, uh, like Grace Mokabe, for example, who have then been removed by the cancellation of these executive orders. But what has happened is that the American government has added new people to the sanctions list some of them have been retained from the old list but there are many who have been added and now we're going to read out those that have been added so that you get to understand the extent uh, of this new order so the new people that have been sanctioned now are emerson Mnangakwa, who is the president of zimbabwe and is accused of being involved in corrupt activities in particular those relating to gold and diamond smuggling networks Mnangako provides a protective shield to smugglers to operate in Zimbabwe and is directed Zimbabwean officials to facilitate the sale of gold and diamonds in illicit markets, taking bribes in exchange for his services. Mnangako also oversees Zimbabwe's security services, which have violently repressed political opponents and civil society groups. So this is what uh, the American government is laying on President Mnangako as the reasons for his name to be included. Uh, so you will remember that President Nangak was included uh, in Executive Orders 13288 of March 6, 2003, and the annex to Executive Order 13391 of November 22, 2005. So he's now being designated pursuant to Executive Order 13. 818 for being a foreign person who is a current or former government official or a person acting for or on behalf of such an official who is responsible for or complicit in or has directly or indirectly engaged in corruption including this misappropriation of state assets the expropriation of private assets for personal gain corruption related to government contracts or the extraction of natural resources of bribery. Then the second person is President Mnangagwa's wife, that is the first lady of Zimbabwe, Auxilia Mnangagwa, who is accused of facilitating her husband's corrupt activities. She is designated also pursuant to Executive Order 13818 for being a current or former government official or a person acting for or on behalf of such an official who is responsible for or complicit in or is directly or indirectly engaged in corruption, including the misappropriation of state assets, the expropriation of private assets for personal gain, corruption related to government contracts, or the extraction of natural resources or bribery. Then there is Kudakwashe uh, Regimond Takwire. You know him as Kudakwire, who owns Sakunda, he was designated on August 5, 2020, uh, pursuant to Executive Order 13469 for having materially assisted, sponsored, or provided financial, material, logistical, or technical support for or goods or services in support of the government of Zimbabwe or, or senior government officials. So he is, uh, his interest in property are blocked pursuant to Executive Orders 13288. Executive Order 13391 or Executive Order 13469. He is accused of being a close ally, as already is known, of President Mnangakwa and has a long standing association with the ruling, ruling party, which is ZANU PF, and is accused of having provided high value gifts to senior members of the government of Zimbabwe to gain access to resources and exert significant control over major sectors of the Zimbabwean economy. Akwira's wife, 
uh, Sandra Mpunga has also been designated because she has been accused of being instrumental in Takure's business executive, uh, in Takure's business uh, activities, rather. So both of them are also beneficial owners of Sakunda Holdings, a Zimbabwean firm that has facilitated state corruption according to uh, the United States government. And Sakunda Holdings, as a company itself, was designated in August 5, on August 5, 2020, uh, pursuant to Executive Order 13469 for being owned or controlled by Takwire. Then there is Fossil Acro, which is a subsidiary of Sakunda Holdings and has provided it with material support according to the OFAC. So it has been designated as well. There is also a, a director of Fossil Acro and a long-time business partner of Takwire by the name of Peichi Muka, who sits on the board or and services as director of several Takwire owned companies. Chimoka also owns fossil contracting, which has received government of Zimbabwe contracts that have facilitated acts of corruption against, I mean, according to the U.S. Uh, also sanctioned is uh, Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, who is uh, a former Zimbabwe Defense Forces commander, and he's being accused of directing Zimbabwe security forces to engage in the violent repression of political activists and civil society organizations. Uh, there is also Opa Muchinguri, who is Zimbabwe Defense Minister, and he has, is accused of being responsible for overseeing Zimbabwe's defense forces and being the chair of the National Joint Compar uh, Operation Command. And under this, she's been accused uh, of uh, leading Zimbabwe's military personnel to engage in violent repression because she sits and presides over them. Also added is Police Commissioner Godwin Matanga, who is the Commissioner General of the Zimbabwe Republic Police, and the accusation is that under his leadership, the ZRP has, participate, has participated in ferret team activities. So included is Stephen Mutamba, who has been the Deputy Commissioner General of the Zimbabwe of the Zimbabwe Republic Police since uh, 2019, and the accusation is that under his leadership, the therapy members have engaged in violent oppression of political opposition. There is Walter Tafumane, who is the Deputy Director General of Zimbabwe Central Intelligence Organization since 2020, and he has reportedly uh, led the campaign to disrupt the 2023 electoral processes through his leadership of ruling party affiliated groups is also alleged to have been personally involved in past kidnappings of obviously opposition political activists there is owen mutangube as well who is who was zimbabwe's minister of states of state security between 2018 and 2022 and the accusation is that during that time, he ordered security services to identify, abduct, and mistreat individuals assessed to be supporters of a Zimbabwean opposition group. He was recently reappointed to government as Minister of State for Midlands Provincial Affairs, and is reported to have led a notorious violent group that is alleged to be responsible for attacks and killings around Zimbabwe especially in Kwekwe. So these are the people who have remained under sanctions uh, under the new executive order that has been made by the American government through President uh, Joe Biden. So this is what was uh, announced uh, on 4 March. So this is the executive order of March 4, 2024. Uh, and it is declared uh, by the American president, that is Joe Biden. Thank you very much for subscribing to this uh, channel. If you haven't, please subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. Also press the notification button so that when we come with our live updates or new broadcasts, you will be notified. Thank you.